Hi YouTube, my name is Claire and I am the Cotswold Cook. Uh, welcome if this is your first time watching one of my videos. If you like what you see, please do click subscribe and like my video. That would be awesome, thank you very much. Um, if you have landed on this link, it's probably because you're looking for a foolproof way to make um, wholemeal bread in your bread machine at home. I have tried and tested every single recipe out there I think and the one I'm about to share with you works every single time my family can contest to that. Without further ado let's just crack on. Okay let's go. So all you're gonna need for this recipe is uh, three cups of wholemeal bread flour. You're gonna need uh, one and a half cups of tepid water, uh, one and a half teaspoons of salt, one and a half tablespoons of sugar, um, one and a half teaspoons of dried yeast. Make sure it's the um, it's instant dried yeast. Yeah, don't buy. Make sure it comes from the sachets. That that works every single time for me. So um, yeah, one and a half teaspoons of dried yeast, um, and I use about four slithers of lovely Cotswold butter. Um, I think it works out to be about 25 grams. Um, I'll double check that and I'll make sure I pop that on the description for you. So it's really, really simple. Let's get to it. While that's in the oven, we're gonna tackle uh, three top tips which are gonna help you every single time you bake your bread at home in your machine. So top tip number one is make sure you use the right kind of flour. If you Google top tips on how to make awesome bread in my bread maker, um, that's gonna be the top tip number one thing that comes up every single time. Make sure you use bread flour. Don't try and get round it with plain flour or or you know, just bog standard wholemeal flour, it has to say bread flour on the packet. And the reason for that is that um, it's basically got, just got a higher concentration of gluten in bread flour, and that's gonna help your um, 
you'll bake it. We'll just help it rise um, a lot better than uh, bog standard plain flour. Um, top tip number two is make sure that you use the right kind of yeast. Um, make sure, um, I think I touched on it on the video um, at the start, make sure it's the kind of yeast that comes in the little sachets or the little tins, but it will say um, either sort of dried, fast acting yeast or bread yeast. It will infer that it's bespoke for making bread at home. That's the kind you want to use, not any other kind. Um, else uh, you're not going to get a half decent bake. And then top tip number three, it's all about the yeast again. Um, it's make sure that your yeast doesn't come in contact with um, the wet ingredients. Um, so in our case, we used water. Of course, lots of different recipes call for other things like milk or um, you know almond milk uh, or you know whatever either way make sure your dried yeast doesn't come in contact with your wet ingredients um, until such time as it gets mixed up in the machine um, but uh, I, in terms of the order that you put your ingredients in it's really important that you make sure that those two items are very very separate from each other and uh, those are my top three tips i'm gonna finish my cup of tea and uh, have a little tidy up and um, Probably just walk around smelling my house because it smells really good.